All right, so I recently got the new exotic special grenade launcher, Dead Messenger. Now what this exotic grenade launcher is, is pretty much if you take Mars Retribution or Deafening Whisper, and they have a baby with hard light or something or borealis boom it's literally a wave frame grenade launcher that you can switch the element to void arc or solar but it shoots in kind of like a fork pattern it shoots in like three different directions it's really cool and i actually really like it for ad clear so i decided to make a build with it and it's actually pretty fun so let's go ahead and hop right in now i know i've been making a lot of warlock builds recently i'm a warlock main and warlock is my favorite class to play so definitely just hang in with me i'm gonna hop in my hunter next but for right now let's go ahead and talk about this build so we're using Child of the Old Gods and Feed the Void as our aspects. You guys should already know what these two aspects do. And as for our fragments, we're using Echo of Remnants, Echo of Persistence, Echo of Undermining, and Echo of Provisions. So like I stated in the beginning of the video, this is a dead messenger build. Uh, that's really the only weapon you need to use. If you want to run maybe a weapon with Wellspring or a weapon with Demolitionist in your kinetic slot, you can. You really don't even have to. You can use whatever you want for your heavy as well, just as long as you're using dead messenger. I'm also using 100 recovery and 100 strength, and I'm also using Nezarek Sin as my exotic. Now this is the perfect exotic for this build because upon getting any type of void damage kills, it increases your ability recharge rate. That goes for your super your grenade your melee and your rift so since i'm using dead messenger while it's on void and i'm using obviously void walker all this is all void damage which is going to play into my ability spam which i want to be able to keep feed the void up devour so i figured i would use nezrex so and i've been using verity's brow and um what is the arms the cry grips a lot so i figured i'll switch it up a little bit now moving on to my mods i am using seeking wells fonts of might elemental time dilation elemental ordinance and volatile flow upon getting a grenade kill it will spawn a void elemental well and when i pick that up it'll give me volatile rounds on all of my void weapons and also give me a 25 percent damage buff to all my void weapons as well now this is very similar to my most recent volatile rounds build but with a different exotic helmet and a different exotic weapon I really wanted to play into using the dead messenger because it's new and it's fun and I really wanted to see what it can do. Um, is it like, you know, obviously the most meta thing? No, because you're, you're not really going to be using it for like, ad, I mean, I guess you could use it for ad clear, but I wouldn't really use this in harder content. I feel like I'd rather use something with champion mods, but it's still a really fun exotic to use and volatile rounds will always be fun and you have abilities spent with Nesavrex Sin and the new Void Walker is just absolutely cracked. So definitely try it out. Get yourself the new grenade launcher and there's going to be a catalyst once the, probably once the master version of the mission comes out i don't know what it does yet but i'll definitely be trying to get that the new exotic mission is a lot of fun so definitely do it go in solo is kind of hard i don't know maybe you can do it solo i went in with two people and it was pretty fun so definitely give it a shot but if you like this content definitely hit that subscribe button leave a like and leave a comment down below i'll be making a lot more videos like this so stay tuned for more i hope to see you guys in the next video deuces